Hey guys, in this video, I'll be talking about custom alert dialog. The plain old alert dialog that is given to us by default is not so attractive. So we'll make it look more attractive using our custom alert dialog. I will just use a simple linear layout in this. And without discussing more about it, let's jump into Android Studio and see what we'll be making. So here I've created a blank project with an empty activity. So now let's go to our resource directory in the layout folder. That is the activity main.xml. And here what I'll do, I'll just create a button. Button with a width of wrap content and height of wrap content. And with a text of show dialog. It will just show the dialog that is presented. And let's give it an ID of also show dialog ID show dialog button like this. And now let's copy this and going back to our activity main activity. And here, what I'll do, I'll just find that button. So, button button or rather show dialog button equal to find view by id that is the r dot id dot show dialog button and we'll implement an on click listener on this button show that dot set on click listener and it would be new view on click listener like this and what we'll want to do when we click this button we want to create a function that is show dialog like this and we'll just call this method from here for now let's just log it in the console and see if it's working that would be it and let, let's run it so we are getting this call from the show dialog button and now let's uh, let's do one thing let us remove this log and now let's create a view for our alert dialog. We we'll go to our layout folder and create a new resource file for the alert dialog. And we'll call it alert dialog like this. Let me copy one image asset also and I'm going to paste it in the drawable folder. This image asset is from the pix. Uh, it is from pixabay.com where you can find great royalty free images and uh, I'm going to paste it here and you can go to pixabay or pixels.com I'll provide the link in the description so now in this alert dialog what do I want uh, let me uh, you can use whatever layout you want to use I'll be using the linear layout as the root layout and it's orientation to be vertical the first thing i want is an image image view and with a width of 64 dp and a height of also 64 dp now let's provide a source for this image and that would be from the drawable folder that is the avatar we have copied it and it would be like this and what else do we want we want it to be aligned to center so text it's gravity layout gravity i think it's center not the layout gravity but it's the gravity thing that has to be center horizontal like this and what else do we want here uh, we can use our text view again the width would be say match parent and height would be wrap content and what i can use i can use some text of lorem epsom so lorem epsom set a met so let's change the width to be wrap content and let me change this text again to be a bit longer text like this 
and we can give it a margin top or give it a margin of top 16 dp like this and we can use two buttons here button uh, something like uh, ok button or let's say accept button so we'll give it a text of say accept let's give it a style of colored button style at style slash widget dot app compact uh, compact dot button dot colored like this and what we can do we can make it switch to match parent let's give it a margin top of margin top of 16 dp again let's copy this button and paste it again like this and this time we'll give it a style of button dot borderless color like this and we can say it cancel like this now let's go back to main activity and what we'll do is uh, we'll get the layout inflator layout layout inflator inflator equal to layout inflator dot from context context would be this from this class now let's just get our view that we have created and it would be from the inflator inflator dot inflate resource would be r dot layout dot alert dialog and and a root view to be null like this and now what we need to do that is alert dialog dot uh, alert dialog equal to new alert dialog dot builder this dot uh, set view and view would be our this view like this and we'll just create it like this and something more we need to do that is we need to handle the on click listeners of these buttons that is these two buttons that is accept and the cancel button so we just need their id and id would be the like uh, accept button and for the cancel button id would be at id cancel button like this now go to main activity and in show dialog what we need to do we need to find those buttons button equal to accept button equal to view dot find view by id r dot id dot accept button and for the cancel button also let's just copy it and just paste it here id would be cancel button and let's just copy this and this would be cancel button like this and uh, but uh, you should remember this thing that we need to find this uh, button inside the view that we have just inflated and not in the root view that is the view of the activity so just note this one thing and accept button dot set on click listener new view on click listener and we'll just console log it so loggy I like loggy because it's an error message and it's in red and for the cancel button also set on click listener new view on click listener and again loggy and on click cancel button and here it's the accept button and when everything is done what we need to do we need to show this dialog alert dialog dot show now let's run it and I hope if everything is fine it would be working so since I've used a static avatar but you can use a dynamic avatar so here we have our alert dialog 
that is the custom alert dialog what i don't like about this is the padding on all the sites so let's go back to our alert dialog.xml and let's give it a padding of 16 dp on all sides now let's run it again and we create on alert dialog now it's looking better and it's much better than the default alert dialog that is given to us by default now i've opened my console and when i click the accept button it's handling those click events and if i click on cancel it's handling the cancel button so that's all about the custom alert dialog so thank you if you like the video do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed till now do subscribe thank you bye bye tata take care